Developing the next generation of cattle producers is critical to the long-term viability of the beef industry. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Matt Fleck has a look at how the South Dakota Cattlemen's Foundation is encouraging young producers who have an interest in the cattle feeding sector. The South Dakota Cattlemen's Foundation was formed to help ensure the sustainability of the state's beef industry. One way they accomplish that goal is through the Fed Cattle Challenge, a contest for high school students to learn about the science and economics of finishing cattle. One of our missions at the South Dakota Cattlemen's Foundation is to ensure the long-term viability of the beef industry in the state of South Dakota. And we feel like we need to invest in our youth in order to do that. One area where we saw opportunity was in the cattle feeding sector. We needed a way to get some kids some more cattle feeding experience and exposure. Our state has between 13 and 14,000 beef cow-calf operations in the state, but we really have less than 1,000 operations that do any significant cattle feeding. Participants own three head of cattle from a pen at Winner's Circle Feed Yard while getting an in-depth look at all aspects of the cattle feeding sector. Winter Circle's been involved with the Fed Cattle Challenge now for five years, and I think the main thing that I've seen come from the program for the kids is exposing them to the commercial feeding side of the business. So how the program works for us at the feed yard level, we procure the cattle, feed the cattle, and then also market the cattle for the kids. And those kids will see the purchase price, get to calculate their own break-evens and do all the business side of it, but they also invest their own money. It's not a pseudo pen of cattle that they're feeding. They're actually investing their own dollars to get this experience. Because the kids are financially invested, I think it really helps them truly understand the dollars and cents. If it was just a pretend investment, if you will, I don't think the kids would really pay as close attention as they do. And we've actually got some results back from the, the participants themselves that they said that's one of the top things that they actually really enjoy is that they are financially invested in the program. I thought it was super important um, that we invested our own money because I had real risk in the game. You know, if you were just to sign up for the program without any real risk, you wouldn't really care. Um, but through this program, I found myself really paying attention to the markets and hoping to get a return on my investments. This was a great opportunity for students like myself to get a real world look into the cattle feeding sector. Uh, we had the opportunity to uh, do sessions and work with the managers on everything from cattle procurement to cattle health uh, to marketing and everything in between. It taught the students a tremendous amount about not only just the economics, animal health, nutrition, gave them a very in-depth look at an operating feed yard that they probably wouldn't normally get a chance to, to learn about in South Dakota. We know there's other programs out there that kids get to send their own cattle to a feed yard and see the results on what they do. But these kids are getting that bi-weekly information on how those cattle are doing and what it's costing and, and really what it takes to get that pen of cattle to finish. We had another student that after going through the videos and especially the marketing aspect said, you know, I've heard my dad and my uncle talk about this stuff before, but I never really understood exactly what it meant. And so that's, pretty much exactly what we want to accomplish. We want them to know and to understand what, what we're doing here. And our $1,500 winner this year is Harper Kirsch of Platt, South Dakota. At the conclusion of the program, the top three finalists in the contest were honored during the South Dakota Cattlemen's Foundation Primetime Gala. One surprise with this year's group of participants some of them had no previous experience in agriculture. It's so important for us to not only look for the next generation of talent, but then really for those young people to get a little perspective on what actually happens on these places so that down the line, no matter if they come back into agriculture here in our home state or go elsewhere, they've been exposed, they understand the value and the care that's taken of these animals and really can tell the story of the beef industry no matter where they're at. I would absolutely encourage everyone who has the opportunity to do this. Even if you're involved in the feedlot and cow-calf operations, it's a great opportunity to see a different size and a different viewpoint. Every feedlot's gonna be different and it's important to learn about as many as you can. Even if you have a slight interest in the cattle feeding sector, it's a great way to dig in and maybe hone skills in different parts of the business because at the end of the day, the feed yard does encompass a lot of allied industries. And so being able to gain some knowledge and experience uh, in everything from markets to cattle health 
uh, to feeding strategies. The program covers it all, and I think there's something good for everyone in there. This event not only introduces the next generation of cattle producers to the process of feeding cattle, it also helps to strengthen the overall beef industry in South Dakota. For us, it was how can we help this next generation add more value to their operations? And in a state where we have a huge number of ranches, uh, we felt like this could be the opportunity to keep more of our young people as well as our cattle right here in our home state. You know, a lot of kids are raised on family farms and ranches that may not have that opportunity to go back to that ranch where expanding their business into the commercial feeding side may be an opportunity for them. My long-term hope is that when these students are done with the program and they're looking for a way to maybe come back to a family farm or to be involved in an operation, you know, creating another revenue source for their operation by considering cattle feeding and, and having an understanding of what that's really going to mean for their operation. Reporting from South Dakota, I'm Matt Fleck for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen.